Hello everyone and welcome to this video. There are so many edtech tools out there teachers use to engage their learners in their lessons. So many of them. Myself, I use quite a number of them. But one tool I use very often is Quizzes. And Quizzes is a very simple learning platform that offers multiple tools to make your lessons fun, interactive and then engaging. Quizzes has a lot of um, features and you can have instructor based tests or quizzes or lessons you can have student based lessons or quizzes uh, there are so many things you can do with quizzes but in this video tutorial i'm going to teach you how to conduct a live quiz or a live test on quizzes and if you first uh, log into the website you would have to register and then an account will be created for you and you can have a free account or a paid account uh, there are some differences in this account, but that is not the purpose of this video. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to show you how to conduct a live uh, quiz or test on this quizzes platform. So because I already have account, an account, I will just log into my account. Then I'll show you how this process is done. All right, so if you log into your dashboard or your account, this is what it will look like. But because this is not my first time, um, uh, I have a lot of quizzes that I've done in the past and the reports of those quizzes can be found in your reports tab. So if you click on reports, you see the reports of all the quizzes that you've done in the past. As you can see on the screen, I've conducted a lot of quizzes uh, with this account. So uh, that is for you to know. But like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to show you how to conduct a quiz or a live test on this platform so let's say we are going to do a quiz on photosynthesis so to do that you can either create your quiz or you just choose an already created test or quiz on the platform so I'll just type photosynthesis so when you type it on the search area so um, let's say I'll choose this quiz for my straight set graders so when you click on the quiz um, it just as an instructor you just click on the uh, live and then uh, like i said we are going to let students progress at their own pace so you just choose classic if you choose instructor pace quiz uh, it is the teacher who just uh, detects the pace of the quiz so uh, let me just click on classic when you click on classic there are some um, uh, settings you can do you can allow students to get power apps or you can just prevent them from getting power apps by uh, by keeping the options on or off so again uh, these are very basic settings that you can look through uh, assuming I just want to uh, keep all the settings the way it is from the original quiz you just click on continue and you click on continue uh, you get a code for the particular quiz and you can see this is the code for the quiz and then I normally display uh, display this code to my students and then they go to uh, quizzes.com or they just scan the QR code and then they just join the quiz and uh, take note that even though the quiz is a uh, student based quiz it is the teacher who has to start the quiz before um, the students can actually do the quiz on their own pace or at their own pace so this is the code of the quiz so uh, let's see how the student view looks like. So let me just open another tab. So let me just go to join my quiz. So this is how the student view looks like. And let me just select the code here copy and then just paste it here so when I click join I'll be given the option to enter my name I normally ask students to enter their full name so that I know who is taking my quiz so I'll just type David here David Aldo. so when I click start it means the student is ready to join the quiz uh, so um, once the student enters the quiz you'll be notified that uh, one student has entered can see the number on the screen one so because this is just for tutorials i'll just start the quiz and when you start the quiz 
the uh, leaderboard will be displayed on the teacher's screen and this is how the student's screen looks like. So the students will be choosing the answers to the quizzes. So once the quiz is over, this is what is displayed or displayed uh, on the student's device. The students know their results and their position. And this is how the instructor view looks like. Uh, so uh, because I was the only one who took the quiz, uh, this is the summary of uh, what I did on the quiz. And uh, as, as a teacher, if you want to find the reports on each of the quiz, again, like I mentioned earlier, just click on reports and then you see all the quizzes that you've done and then you can use the information from the reports for formative and then summative assessment uh, decisions. So I hope from this video you'll be able to conduct a live quiz or a live test for your students. I'll see you in my next video.